Hello there and welcome back to another video, we are back here inside of the beginner 2 pro scripting tutorial series. In today's video guys, we're going to be talking more about functions and I'll be showing you guys um, a different way in, uh, on how you guys can use these in Roblox, which is going to be quite exciting. Before I start anything off though and show you guys exactly all about functions, first I do have a Patreon where you guys can join for the price of £8 a month and in there guys you can download every single Roblox studio file which I upload to this um, channel. So I know guys, it is... Um, not too expensive at all and you never know guys with these studio files you could maybe make a ro uh, successful roblox game and earn even more than eight pounds a month anyway guys let's go ahead and get on into this video now so guys what are we doing here well we are going to be doing something um you know i'm gonna quickly try and explain it for you guys so i'm gonna um what we're gonna do here is something called built in functions well i don't know if that's the name but um the official name guys but these are pretty much functions which are kind of already made for us to use so we don't really need to type these all out again and all sorts of stuff guys which is actually quite useful so i'm going to be showing you guys the main ones which you guys will use and all that sort of stuff so pretty much let me quickly go ahead and um show you guys some stuff over here what i'm going to go ahead and do right now is create a um what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and create a part inside of the workspace right now guys and we're just going to simply get this part by doing local part is equal to workspace dot part over here guys dot part there we go um so now we have the part in the workspace right now guys so what i'm going to quickly do as well i'm going to quickly show you guys this so this is the object browser right now guys and over here um one second so let me quickly find a part here we go guys we've got the part over here so all these like purple ones are functions guys these blue ones are like objects and these ones are events over here guys so events um think of them as whenever an event happens but whenever something happens in the game these will be kind of like pings think of it as like maybe a light pings whenever i don't know someone steps on something guys just a better cool situation that's kind of like what would happen if like one of these events changed and all sorts of stuff guys but yeah that's not the purpose of today's video but pretty much guys here are all the functions which you guys can do so for example we have the clone function over here guys so we could do um local parts clone and we could do part and then colon clone when you guys do use functions over here you'd always use a colon and as you can see over here guys here are all the different functions which you guys can use for a part so if you clone this guys then we can do part clone dot parent and we can set this to the workspace over here so as you can see we only have one um, part in the workspace right now guys but if we go ahead and do this again then we will have hopefully once the script goes ahead and works as you can see right never mind guys um one second is this gonna work never mind sorry it's because i i didn't do part clone dot parent i am um, there we go guys so this should now work hopefully right okay guys um yep yeah. um and now we should yeah as you can see we've got two parts in this workspace over here guys and two parts here so yeah th that's one of the built-in functions and there's a bunch more which you guys can use i reckon maybe maybe just test and run with this guys um so we also have part we'll see some other ones guys we have destroy so let's say i want to um well what we can do something like this um we can do part um part and then we can go ahead and do colon destroy something like this over here guys. so what this will do one second accident click and insert pretty much guys what this is going to do is as soon as we join the game this part is going to be removed from roblox over here guys as you can see we have now no longer any part in the workspace so that's the destroy function um so yeah guys these functions pretty much just allow you to go ahead and use pre-made um well to do like pre-made things two different objects and roblox over here guys there's different stuff you can do with this for example we could do local um we could do script colon destroy it doesn't necessarily need to be a part we could destroy the script which will go ahead and just get rid of the script altogether so as you guys if you remember we have this script and service script service it's no longer there anymore so yeah guys it's quite cool another thing which you guys will probably use quite often is this so we'll, you'll probably normally use local part is equal to um workspace wait for child part um you may not necessarily use it in this case but pretty much guys what wait for child does it waits for a child to be added which is called part guys why would we do why would we use this well sometimes guys um what happens is the script actually runs before the part about well, before like the other things run so all these over here guys on the right are called services all these different things you guys see on the right for example workspace players lighting all that sort of stuff and sometimes these load in a different order so 
for example let's say service script service in this instance loads before the workspace then um well whenever service script service does load every single script inside this runs so this would run over here guys and um if we just done dot part then technically what would happen if the workspace wasn't loaded in yet it would try and find a part in the workspace but it would see that there is nothing in the workspace because nothing's loaded in so how would you get around that guys because that will sometimes cause errors what you do is do workspace wait for child and then part just over here guys and what that does it waits just kind of think about it as it kind of waits for everything to load in there and once it does guys it will get that variable we also have as well um find first child um which is also quite useful over here guys um and there's find first to send there's, there's so much stuff here which you guys can use and if you guys ever want to all you can do right now is just go to view click on object browser and if you guys click on this you'll actually see a summary over here guys of what these all do so if you guys kind of want to experiment around that feel free to you guys we'll be of course going over a lot of this stuff in future videos guys you'll be getting used to like all the built-in functions later on guys to be fair there are so many built-in functions even i don't know what they all are i've never used probably only used like I'm not even 10% of them, guys. There's so, so many. So don't expect to learn more, guys. But there will be a few main ones which you'll notice popping up here and there, guys. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video right now, guys. Like and subscribe for more.